In this video, we're talking about one of our keys to an elite defense. That key is stopping the run. We're going to show you why stopping the run is one of the most important things that you can have on your defense. We're taking a look at the dollar defense today. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. $10 gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. Now today, like I said, we're taking a look at run defense out of dollar. This is kind of a the third key thing that I believe every single defense, it doesn't matter what you're bad and you're playing, it doesn't matter what defensive formation you are running, you have to have an idea or a plan for how you are going to stop the run. And I like to have a plan for how I'm going to stop the shotgun run schemes and how I'm going to stop the under center run schemes. Dollar is going to actually afford you this year the ability to do both, and we're going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do for our coaching adjustments is we're going to put our auto alignment to base. We're going to put our option defense on conservative, and then we're going to put our zone coverage on match. Um, zones just play better when they're on match. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're running a match defense. It just means your zones are going to react better to receivers running into their routes. Now, the base play that we've been talking about all week long is DB Fire 2. Um, and it's a great play for being able to shut down the run game, whether it be from shotgun or under center. But I think an, either, an even better play, um, especially for under center base runs, is this play Spinner. Um, man coverage, in my opinion, it does a better job of stopping the run if when they snap the ball, you click your right joystick in because it communicates to the man, all of those guys, that they need to blitz um, or they need to come down for the run game. So I'm going to show you first some under center stuff that I like to do, and then we're going to go into shotgun uh, later on, just kind of talk about some standard shotgun runs uh, that I think are pretty decent. So uh, I believe that there are five keys to effective defense in Madden. The first thing is you have to have the ability to have some kind of blitz threat. The second thing is that you have to have good coverage adjustments from formation to formation. The third thing is you have to have great run defense. And the way that we're going to stop the run from an under center perspective at a dollar is we're going to audible over here to the spinner play. What I like to do when I audible is I really like to just simply press uh, this play. <clears throat> and then when we do that, I don't know what my defensive line's doing. I think I accidentally show blitz. Apologize for that. Um, but when we do something like this is very simple. We're going to pinch our defensive line as well. So we kind of pinch our line. We crash them now. So what this does is it creates a little better front for us. You can individually back off the, so the any receivers if you want to. Um, or your outside players. I like to individually back off the outside players personally. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to use her the weak side linebacker on any kind of zone. Uh, so we want to put our user on a zone. And then if you want a QB contain, you certainly can do that. Um, I noticed that it does help with sheds. And what you're going to notice here is if they try to run outside, these loopers out of the dollar are going to really do a good job of containing the outside run game. So again, we're just going to basically pinch our defense, and then we can uh, back off any corners that we want to. And then you'll see here, let's let's show you stretch to the left. We want to put our user on a zone, and we want to stand kind of over the center just like this. So we can just shoot the run just like that right there. And we basically just, what we did was we kind of turned dollar into a wider version of 3-3 cup. That's what we kind of effectively did uh, when we did this. So again, spinner. And now I'm going to show you some other run games that you're going to see. I think one of the best runs against dollar is power O. So if you're standing right here and they run power O, you want to shoot right through here and try to blow that pulling guard up so that your help can come help you um, actually stop the run. Another um, example of the power O is what if we run to the weak side of this formation, which is this one. Now, you see here again, I've got to get in there and blow that up, and that safety's got to come down, and he's going to have to make you know a good play to be able to stop that. Now, you can, if you wanted to, you can do this DB Fire 2 run defense, um, very similar to the way Dollar is. So you could run it just like this, and you'll be fine. You'll be okay. But the, the problem is your safeties don't help. They're not going to help you at all. Um, in in the run fit, and that's a, I think that's a big deal. I think I think you definitely want your safeties to help you uh, in the run game this year. So if they if they because if they're going to run you know like a duo game or power O, 
Yes, you can shoot right through the A gap on duo and, and, and stuff, but power row is really the killer. Power row is really the one that you've got to be careful. Stretch is really not that great, and because you're pinching your D line, I'll show you ISO in a second. ISO is not great either. And you see how I can shoot in and, and kind of at least give myself a shot with power row, but the safeties are really the key to stopping the power row. And that's why if someone's running the ball consistently, I like to go to that spinner play um, just because the safeties are going to help a little bit more. If they run off center, it's really not too bad because you can shoot right through that A-gap because you've pinched your defensive line. Um, it, it allows you to shoot through and it allows you to basically blow up either inside zone again i'm standing right here and then basically as soon as i i'm going to come downhill first and then you see here i'm just trying to blow that up just like that now i believe you also have to have some kind of plan for how you're going to defend shotgun runs i actually think shotgun runs are harder to stop because you're also trying to blitz people right so if they're running a good shotgun run game out of trip side in you have to be prepared for that. Now, the other things that we're going to talk about these tomorrow and the next day is a couple of other things that I think are really important in terms of, you know, having an effective defense which is you've got to have an effective red zone defense, right? You've got to be able to get stops inside the five. You also have to have an effective, um, an effective end of half defense, which I think a lot of people sleep on and forget about. So if I want to shoot the run on a dollar and specifically against any kind of shotgun run game, I'm going to use her this guy, and typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand about right here. And what you can do with this, about right here, is you can basically just loop in just like that and shut down inside zone. So you take the linebacker that's on the running back side, okay, and this example is Ted Hendricks, and you're going to stand just to the right of the guard, and you want him on his zone. Quick base, pretty much the same. Um, quick base a little better. Another thing we can do with quick base, I'll show you in the replay here. If you watch, you see how that guy pulls? So what I could do is I could actually come through the pulling lane to blow up quick base. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes you sometimes you like kind of don't realize the don't di diagnose the actual run until it's a little too late. But like right here, see how I can kind of loop around and, and I give myself a chance to be able to shut it down. So with quick base, you know, you can kind of just shoot it as is. Um, you might not want to be like super close. You might want to be just a little bit off. But if they run base, you know, you've also got that linebacker on the on the on the right side that's going to quasi help you out. You know, so so I wouldn't overthink it too much. Um, with dollar, you know, run the run game is obviously the weak. You, they do have a better shot. But there are also a lot of times where that right there is going to happen. And on these point guard type of runs, another thing that you need to consider is a lot of times this little crisscross action, you'll get this defensive tackle just comes completely free. Or you can click onto this guy and get a quick shed. And you're forcing them to take a run for three or four yards. You know, it's it's not like you know, it's not like they're gonna they're gonna kill you with a death of a thousand paper cuts, really. So um, halfback counter. I'm running straight down here and trying to blow up the gap. So halfback counter, kind of sim similar to base. Um, you know, and again, there's a little bit, really this is, I think, the best against inside zone. But if they do run like a counter run, you could kind of run down in here. Obviously, the, he picks me up. But the way that you handle that if they're going to pick you up is you're going to dive like right before you get blocked. So I'll try to show you a little bit here. So if they run halfback counter, I'm just going to dive right in and you see how now I can have some, it delays the run long enough and I can get some help, you know, from my other guys. So that's another little kind of strategy or tactic. Just dive before you're going to get blocked and you see how I kind of run you into the run lane and you can at least deter them from going through that gap. That is kind of a, a little bit of a, a brief explanation of run defense. If you want to learn more about the dollar defense, make sure you get in the Patreon. That's where our full dollar defensive ebook is, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So you have a plethora of options to choose from, and I guarantee you that being a Patreon member is going to make you a better Madden player. So to sign up for that, head down to the description and click the link down below.